All right, just bring it back. Right, this is a pre-video to the video. Um, just some things to note. Uh, my lawnmower, which I'm going to talk about, which broke. Uh, typically, the warranty ran out a week before the lawnmower broke, so I had to buy the spare parts. Um, but they came to pennies anyway, so it didn't matter. But when I, I thought, oh, I only bought this a year ago, um, I'll take it back because I bought it at uh, Scunthorpe lawn mowers and and then I dug out the receipt and it was uh, 53 weeks old so that's that um, the other thing is as usual in my videos you'll hear the ice cream van in the background or is it the drug dealer no no I'm sure it's I'm sure he's selling ice creams to the kids um, <laughs> which reminds me of the uh, was it more common wise where the police siren was going outside and he said, um, I think it was Eric Morecambe, he says, he'll never sell any ice cream going that speed. Ho ho. Anyway, and there was a, what was the other one? Somebody said, he told his kids that when they, when the chimes on the, the bell on the ice cream van, that means it's empty. So anyway, um, right. Uh, Crash helmets. I bought a new crash helmet. Um, I try to buy a new crash helmet every three years. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to keep them. Maybe five. But I like to change them every three years. Um, a, because they get loose and old. And B, because it's nice to buy things, isn't it? Every now and again, that's half of what biking's about for me. I don't ride them. I just buy them and spend money on them <laughs> and, uh, and then sell them. Anyway, so this is my my previous crash helmet. Which is nothing flash, it's just a shark. Uh, this is called a nasty, I think it's an, oh it's an S700 nasty. Size large, 58 to 60, got a big fat head. And I thought, you know what, I fancy a new crash helmet. And I looked in the label in this. I was shocked. For anyone, it's 2020 now. Oh, is that upside down? I can't tell. Anyway, this was manufactured in 2013. So it's seven years old. I don't think I've had it seven years. I think I've maybe had it five years and maybe it was sat on the shelf two years previous to me buying it. But then again, I might have had it seven years. I'm not sure. I've had so many crash helmets. Like I say, I tried to change them every three years. And I tend to keep the old one for a bit when I've got a new one. So this is just a normal full face helmet uh, with a sun visor, some pretty crap vents. Uh, it's got the pin lock, which I like. The old double glazing seems to work. I've had two or three with pin locks now. And that's about all I can say about it. It's full faced. I did have lots of um, flip front helmets before this one. Um, I never had one that was legal to ride open. Uh, they Now you can get them where you've got a little switch or something. So I was tempted to get another flip face, flip flip front helmet but then I thought well if I've had this for five years or seven years or however long I've had this and it's been fine as a full face you know what I'll just get another full face because it's been okay these are not expensive I think this <clears throat> excuse me I think this was about 150 pounds um, it's hard to tell because I tend to get them from my mate Colin's bike shop and he always gives me a good discount so not sure what the retail it might have been a 200 pound helmet and I paid 150 whatever so that's the old one <coughs> I did loads and loads of YouTube researches and looked for different things and I've ended up getting another shark helmet um, slightly different the, the one I've just showed you is just plastic whatever it is molded plastic and then you've got fiberglass and then you've got carbon 
Well, I went in the middle. I, I got a similar helmet to what I've just shown you, but it's fiberglass. Apparently, that's better than plastic. Um, if I can get it out of the, the wrapper. Uh, this is a shark... Uh, <laughs> Spartan hot plate. Oh look, it says it on the back. Same size, same brand. Does about the same thing. <clears throat> Loads to choose from. I quite, quite. <clears throat> excuse me. Quite like the graphics on this. Um, the, the vents are better on this one. Seem to be a bit more simple and it actually actually says open and close on these i could never work out which way round they went on the other one and to be honest i couldn't even tell if the air was coming in on the other one um it's it seems to have a bigger visor because the or or the pin lock is bigger in the visor um it's also it's got the flip down sun shield sun visor um, but <clears throat> that's on a like a sort of a friction thing rather than a switch on the side like the other one uh, the inside <clears throat> it's all removable and it's made of bamboo apparently like my mattress it's made of bamboo which is supposed to be better for hygiene uh, it's got some nice channels for the air inside. You probably can't see, it's a bit dark. Uh, it's got the D-ring fastener, as opposed to the ratchet. I never got on with the ratchet fasteners. I do, I do like the D-ring. The other thing is, I'm a naked bandit, with no luggage. I can actually use the helmet lock for this. Whereas the other one, it's got no, there's no ring. Uh, It's apparently quieter than the other one. And these, these shark fins apparently do something for turbulence or to help against turbulence. So yeah, I haven't actually worn it yet and used it. So that's a good excuse to go out in a minute and have a go. And I did all right on this, it was these cost about £250 in the UK, depending on what, if it, the carbon ones are more expensive, the fibreglass ones are cheaper, but depending on what graphics it's got on it, they can be up to £300. This was about £250, <clears throat> but it came all brand new in the box with the you know the plastic over the visor and the pin lock in its own thing and it was all untouched um, but they'd had it out of the box and put it on display and they'd lost the instructions but I still got the um, all the other bits were in there it's just the instruction booklet so I got it for 180 pound delivered so I know that's cheap for a crash helmet everyone else is buying Arai and Shoei and all that stuff but as long as the as long as it's got the right <clears throat> the right stickers on it and the right testing rating it's not the best crash helmet in the world but good enough for me so there you go actually let's put it on i did not even though it's the same size as the other one same company same size it is noticeably a better fit because the other one's obviously quite worn out and you're supposed to as far as I know, when it goes on, you, it should squash your cheeks a bit. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, and, and this one's got this bit, which I guess helps. And there's something underneath, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, it's got this built-in 
instead of having the removable chin spoiler thing, it's actually built in. You just pull it out and then it retracts back in. You can see that. It's like a fabric thing with a piece of plastic in it. So that's nice, you don't have to take it on and off different times of year, it's just there. And everything comes out if you want to wash it. So there you go, a Shark Spartan Hoplite. That Hoplite is just a design on it, I think. I don't know if it signifies anything or if that's somebody's... A lot of these have got people's racing uh, helmet colours. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so that's that. That turned into a, a review of a, an unboxing or a review of a, a crash helmet. On to the main video now. It's getting really long. It's about 20 minutes worth altogether with this and the next bit. Sorry about that. See you in a bit, in a couple of seconds. Hello, just bring you back. Uh, just a little update. I haven't been around for about two to three weeks. I've just done 15 night shifts. Well, 14 night shifts, but it was seven, one off, and then seven. So that's all sorted, over and done with. I've got a week off now, and then I'll be back on days. Uh, early August. Uh, yeah, early August. <laughs> I don't know the dates. Uh, anyway, today I was supposed to be driving to, um, I thought it was Hertfordshire, but it's not. I think it's Northamptonshire, uh, Rushton. Uh, sort of Corby way um, anyway uh, I didn't get up till five o'clock it's Sunday the 26th of July 2020 uh, yeah I came in at five this morning and uh, decided to watch telly for a bit in the morning uh, to get me chilled out and I went to bed and I didn't get up till five so probably be going to Rushton uh, Maybe tomorrow. Uh, just visiting my sister-in-law's place for a bit. Get to ride on the tractor and things. Anyway, so obviously I've done bugger all uh, in the way of bikes and garden and everything for two, nearly three weeks. But what I did manage to fix was my lawnmower. Um, I think on my day off, which was last Saturday, last Saturday night off so on Sunday before work I mowed the lawns um, and the front axle collapsed on my lawnmower uh, it's a still 582 T it's just a petrol self-propelled lawnmower which I only bought last year um, anyway the front axle the axle didn't break but the mountings for the axle broke and when I investigated it's held on by these plastic clips, which is a bit rubbish, really. For uh, when I bought the mower last year, I thought I'd either get a Honda again because I've had good success with Honda petrol mowers, or um, the Still, which is a Briggs and Stratton engined thing, was a hundred pound cheaper. So I thought, well, I'll get the Still one, um, Briggs and Stratton that should be fine and yeah and lo and behold the some of the important bits are held on by plastic and on the plus side I bought two of these and they were 10 pound delivered you know two pound 80 each plus postage whatever so and they, they came in a couple of days first class post and pretty simple to put in it took me about 20 minutes it should have taken me about three minutes now I know how to do it spare one next time I break one I know exactly how to put it in um, you have to have the height adjustment on the uh, the highest adjustment and then you can get to the screw that goes through the body into that hole oh, anyway that was waffly uh, what else have I got to tell you I'm building a new paddle board for the base for my base for the bases uh, yeah so I'm back into pedal mode on the bases because it's just going to be me and Sam again when we get back to rehearsing and writing. Here comes another cat. Um, 
So yeah, I might, I might film that. But I've been gathering up some new, new paddles and bits and pieces, and, and I've ordered a pedal board to put them all on and a power supply, which is rare for me. I normally use batteries, but when you get to about seven pedals, you some of my, some of my pedals you can't get to the batteries unless you unscrew the backs of the pedals. Uh, some of the old style ones you can get through to the pedals from the the main rocker switch. Anyway, we might get into that. But yeah, so it's seven o'clock in the evening on Sunday, I think it is. Yes, it's Sunday. I've sort of just got up and started looking had a quick bonfire of paper and cardboard, sorted out my metal from a bonfire into another scrap metal bin. I've been looking around at all the weeds everywhere on the patio and the gravel. Um, I don't have any weed killer. I can't be bothered to go around and pick them all out manually. Uh, I had a really good idea. I'd squirt them all with WD and then set them alight with my map gas and it didn't even like the WD-40, so I don't know how that works. But anyway, yeah, so that's me. Um, and, oh yeah, um, I have lost 18 pounds now since last October, since I started trying to lose weight. So I'm at 18 pounds and I want to lose another 14 this year, I think. I'm not going mad, I'm doing it gently and slowly. That's uh, I think nine, nine months, seven, eight, about nine months to lose 18 pound. So as you see, it's a gradual process. But uh, yeah, uh, I was looking at some of my old videos, sometimes when people comment um, on, on like an old bike video or, or an old guitar video, I actually have to go back and watch my video because I can't remember what it was about. And uh, yeah, some of those videos, um, I was certainly piled on the weight last year, definitely. So uh, yeah, it uh, feels better to be 18 pounds lighter, a stone and a quarter. I'm not sure what it is in kilos, sorry. Um, and I expect, uh, expect my bikes happy that are not so huge. So that's about it. I'm just chilling out for now. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to take the bandit out in a minute just for a little hour's ride round to try and clear my head of work, get it all, all stress free. I say stress, it's not that stressful at work. Anyway, peace and love. Just a waffle, no content. Just to say hello, I'm back, and um, I'll see you all when I'm doing something properly. I've been Springy. See you later.